The Human Rights Watch now wants the Kenyan government to establish a commission of inquiry to look into sexual violence during the August 8th general election. In a report, the organization says there was widespread sexual abuse perpetrated by the police. The 31-page report says that there are cases of gang rape by men in uniform and with dreadlocks. Following the declaration of Uhuru Kenyatta as the winner of the August 8th presidential election, violence broke out in parts of Nairobi's Madare, Kibira and Dondora. Violent scenes with police out to quell protests were witnessed in Kisumu and Bungoma. The Human Rights Watch in a report says women faced sexual abuse during the protests. There was widespread sexual violence in terms of the locations where it happened and the numbers. And the types of sexual violence that we documented included rape, gun rape. This is rape that involves two men or more. Um, and uh, we also had a case of mass rape where a group of women were raped by a group of men. Uh, we had cases of rape with an object, putting that into a woman's private parts, unwanted sexual touching, forced nudity, and beatings on genitals. According to the report, the police perpetrated the sexual violence. Half of the rapes that we documented were perpetrated by police or men in uniform. Um, uh, some of the survivors said they were raped uh, by men in uniform with rasters or dreadlocks. Many of the victims, according to the report, failed to report cases of abuse due to lack of confidence in the police and fear of stigma. The report, however, does not give figures of the number of victims of sexual violence. It is not a quantitative research, so I cannot tell you that a thousand women were raped during the election. What this report does is that it really sets out details of how this sexual violence happened, who were the perpetrators, and what was the state response. The Human Rights Watch now wants the government to prosecute sexual crimes and address needs of the victims. We are calling for the government to establish an independent judicial commission of inquiry um, to examine all unlawful activities of the police during the election period, including those related to sexual violence. And the objective should be to ensure there is accountability for that. Survivors of sexual violence need a lot of mental health services, and which is a very huge gap. Uh, in the country, not only in Nairobi, but around the country, because it affects you, body, mind, and spirit. And we need to support survivors of sexual violence to start their healing process. And it's a journey. It's not an event. It's not a one-day um, affair. It's a journey that we need to invest in. 68 women and three men from Madare, Dandora, Kibira, Kisumu, and Bungoma were interviewed during the research. Rita Tinina. KTN News.